Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite alternative to ChatGPT Plus in 2024. Now, this alternative uses the GPT-4 language model. It can generate AI images and now generate AI music and much more. And best of all, it's 100% free to use. But before I dive more into this alternative, I first want to show you guys this free guide that I created on the best AI side hustles for 2024 and beyond. Now, these side hustles I've personally used myself to generate more than $5,000 a month in passive income online. And you can get this free guide by clicking the link below this video in the description or pinned comment for more details. So diving back into this video, my number one alternative to chat GPT plus is Microsoft Copilot. Now, all you have to do is go to copilot.microsoft.com. I'm sure many of you have already heard of this tool as I've mentioned it on several other videos on this channel. But long story short, this is Microsoft's AI chatbot. It is the rebranded version of Bing Chat. So if you go to bing.com and you click chat with GPT-4 up here, this is the interface that you would typically see with Bing Chat. And Microsoft has formally announced now that they are rebranding everything with Bing Chat over to Microsoft Copilot and they're investing a lot of resources into this tool. So why is this the number one alternative to chat GPT plus? That's what I'm going to answer in this video. You have tools like Google Bard now with the new Gemini upgrade. You have Claude. Claude's a big one. There's several other AI tools that are free to use. Um, so why Microsoft Copilot, Ryan? Why is that your number one tool? Well, Number one, it's free to use. Like I mentioned earlier, ChatGPT Plus still costs $20 a month. And while admittedly, I do pay for a subscription to ChatGPT Plus as I use it every day, 20 bucks a month, you can get a lot of similar functionalities in Copilot that you can in ChatGPT Plus. So if you're not using ChatGPT every single day like I am, I would not recommend getting Plus and I would just stick to Copilot and other AI tools like Google Bard, Claude, et cetera. If you are using ChatGPT Plus every day, then I think the $20 a month investment is worth it. And I think it's worth noting here too, guys, that OpenAI could easily increase the subscription price of this as well. So that'll be something I'm gonna keep an eye on if OpenAI decides to increase that $20 a month price point for ChatGPT Plus. So guys, diving back into Copilot, also, it's multimodal. Now, what do I mean by multimodal? So if you go to ChatGPT+, this is also multimodal. If you click down here in the dropdown, you can do various functions inside ChatGPT+, in one interface. So you can pr produce text outputs, you can generate images with DALI, uh, you can do coding stuff, you can do web browsing, you can do all sorts of different things in this one interface. And the same thing goes for Microsoft Copilot. It's multimodal tool. And the next thing is, is it also runs the GPT-4 language model for free. Now, what's interesting, just a quick disclaimer here, is if I ask it that question, I'm going to ask it, are you using the GPT-4 language model? And it's going to say, yes, I am a chat mode of Microsoft Bing, and I use my own language model to communicate with you. However, I do not have access to the GPT-4 language model. I can generate imaginative content, poem stories, celebrity, more using my own words and knowledge. Is there anything else that I can help you with? So while this is kind of confusing in my opinion, I still believe that it uses GPT-4. And how do I know this? I'm not just making this up. Is if you go to Bing Chat, it says chat with GPT-4. So it's blatantly saying that Bing Chat uses GPT-4. And if Copilot is the rebranded version of Bing Chat, then I can confidently say that this is also using GPT-4. So I don't know why the response there is so confusing, but that's number one, why it's my favorite alternative is it is running that GPT-4 language model for free. And number two, guys, diving right in, is it can also generate AI images for free using DALI technology. So if I go down here, I didn't even mention this at the beginning. It has these different conversation styles. So if I click more creative, this is one you'd want to use for creativity in your text outputs, creativity in your images, creativity in music. Um, so I'm going to try the more creative conversation style. I'm going to do something very simple here. I'm going to say uh, generate me an image of a dog playing in the snow. And then I'm going to give it a few seconds here while uh, Microsoft Copilot does generate this image for me. 
All right, so as you'll see, here is the AI generated images of my text prompt from earlier. It says, create me an image of a dog playing in the snow. Now I must say, you have to be signed into your Microsoft account in order for Microsoft Copilot to generate images. I didn't catch that at first, but you do have to be signed into a free Microsoft account in order to use this AI image generator. So here are the images. So not bad. If I click this, it directs me to the Bing image creator. So here's the first image. So it looks like it gave me four images and guys, that is not, that looks pretty realistic to me, honestly. And for a free AI image generator, I can't really complain about these outputs. So you can share these if you want, download them, upload them to Canva, Photoshop, customize them however you want. But that's one of the functionalities that I wanted to show you is that Microsoft Copilot can generate high quality AI images using DALI. And again, it's completely for free. You don't have to pay 20 bucks a month like you do in ChatGPT Plus to get access to DALI 3 inside the images. So guys, I just refreshed my page here. And the next thing I'm excited to show you is Microsoft Copilot's ability to generate AI music. So for full transparency, I'm, I'm going to head back over to ChatGPT Plus here. If I ask ChatGPT Plus to create me a song, you're going to get a response that looks like this. It says, I can write lyrics for you, but I cannot create audio. And that's true. As of this video recording, ChatGPT Plus cannot generate audio. So if I go back to my Copilot account, excuse me, the other thing I notice is I no longer have an option up here for plugins. I'm just being honest with you and showing you what I see in real time. But I did do a video about this on my channel. So this was two weeks ago when this you know update fully came out. And I did have this option here for plugins, recent activity, and it showed all the Suno integration. Um, so I'm not sure why I do not have that right now as of this video recording. Um, my guess is that Microsoft is still rolling this out and figuring things out with the Suno integration with Copilot. Um, if you see it, let me know in the comments below. But guys, I'm just being honest here. I don't see the plugins option anymore. So I'm going to come back to my YouTube video and I will leave a link to this video in the description below. But here is what the AI generated music sounds like that you can use inside Microsoft Copilot for free. So as you can see here, just from that quick snippet, um, the music's not terrible in my opinion. Again, I would suggest watching that video and you may not have an option to use Suno right now. Again, I just hope Microsoft would figure this out um, and provide access to all accounts. So if you do have access to plugins and that Suno integration, please let me know in the comments below. So guys, the last thing I wanna show you on why Microsoft Copilot is my favorite alternative to ChatGPT Plus is because it also has real-time access to the internet through Bing search results. So if I ask it a simple prompt here by saying who won the World Series in 2023, what's funny is OpenAI tried to make a big deal about about ChatGPT, excuse me, now being connected to the internet. So I'm right here on Microsoft Copilot and right away it says the Texas Rangers won the World Series in 2023. That's the correct answer. It provides sources and also other details about this prompt. So if I go back to ChatGPT Plus, now I am on 3.5 just to show you something quick here. This is the free version of ChatGPT. It doesn't even have the answer to it because its last knowledge update is in January 2022. So you can't even get access to real-time information on the free version of ChatGPT. But if I go to the premium version on GPT-4, it's going to come back with a similar answer as it is scraping from Bing search results as well. But the point I'm trying to make here, guys, is that you have to pay for this. You have to pay for a ChatGPT Plus subscription to get this real-time internet access. So it's searching you know, the 2023 World Series winner here on Bing. Whereas I could just come to Microsoft Copilot and ask it without having a subscription to ChatGPT Plus, and it will give me real time results from the internet. So that's it, guys. That is why Microsoft Copilot is my favorite alternative to ChatGPT Plus in 2024 and beyond. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to also drop me a comment below if there's any alternatives that you guys prefer over Microsoft Copilot, like Google Bard, Claude, uh, just let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for your guys' input and new AI tools to check out. 
I also want to apologize again as I don't know why I do not have the Suno integration to generate AI music. Um, I'm very disappointed in that, but be sure to check out my video that does explain that recent update and hopefully Microsoft rolls that out across all accounts soon. But again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Guys, I hope you all have a great day and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for the latest and greatest AI tips and tricks.